In this video, we're going to attempt to simplify the expression 4x to the negative fifth, y to the negative third, times 3x cubed, y to the negative second, all over 6x to the negative fifth, y cubed. When simplifying with exponents, we keep in mind order of operations as a guide to help us simplify the expression. However, with negative exponents, it's also helpful to get rid of the negative exponents as soon as possible to avoid any sign errors that might occur. The time to get rid of negative exponents is after you've addressed the parentheses and the exponents. If there is no exponents to multiply through a parentheses, then we're ready to move the exponents around. In this problem, there are no parentheses, and so we're ready to identify what needs to move. We see x to the negative fifth. Notice the 4 does not have the negative exponent, just the factor it's attached to. y to the negative third, y to the negative second, and x to the negative fifth each need to move. When we do this, the numerator, we have 4 times 3, x cubed, and we move the x to the negative fifth up, so it's now x to the fifth. In the denominator, we have 6, a y cubed, and we move x to the negative fifth down as x to the fifth, y to the negative 3 down to y cubed, and y to the negative 2 down, giving us y squared. Now that everything has a positive exponent, we can continue on simplifying the numerator and the denominator separately. In the numerator, 4 times 3 is 12, and the product rule of exponents tells us that we add the exponents on the x's. 5 plus 3 is 8. Over 6, and then on the y's, we can add the exponents, 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8, x to the fifth. Finally, we're able to reduce using the quotient rule and reducing the 12 over 6. The 12 over 6 reduces to 2, and then on the x's, the quotient rule tells us to subtract the exponents. 8 minus 5 is 3. Because the 3 is positive, the x cubed needs to be in the numerator. This follows from having 8 x's in the numerator, dividing out with 5 x's in the denominator. The leftover should be on top in the numerator. We still have y to the 8th on the bottom in the denominator, and we have our final solution. We know we are done because there are no negative exponents, no parentheses, and each variable appears only once. We got to our answer by following the order of operations as a guide as to which exponent property to use when, and we got rid of our negative exponents as soon as the parentheses were cleared. This problem had no parentheses, so we were able to do that first.